Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Joe Salvador. You guys seem to really like the how to invest in sneakers during the coronavirus video. So today I want to give you five sneakers that I personally see as really good investments to hold just until this coronavirus thing ends. These are sneakers that have been heavily affected by the coronavirus and as a result, their resale prices have dropped significantly. Therefore, I predict that if you invest in these sneakers, uh, you, you can definitely see a really good profit uh, margin once you sell and you can maximize your return on an investment. So starting off the list, at number 5, we have the 85 Air Jordan 1 Reverse Breads. Now the reason why I think that these are going to do numbers and, are, and the reason why that you should invest in these sneakers is because think about the variables that make the sneaker special. It's one of the first 85 Air Jordan 1 variants. It's got OG color blocking. It's everything that a collector wants in a shoe. Um, I know all those remastered like from 2015 got the Chicago ones. Like all of those are really OG releases but in a remastered colorway. These take inspiration from the, the original 85 um, releases that dropped in 1985, 1986. So this is why I think that these are really special. Now these dropped February the 2nd and these went for around 800 to 900. It went up to around 1200 but then around March they saw a really significant dip to I think around 750 to 800. Now because the economy is going up back up and then we were slowly recovering resellers around high 800s to low 900s so this is why i think that's going to be a really big investment um, really good investment and really profitable one at that just because the, these are collectors dreams honestly um Obviously, they're going to try and go for the new beginnings pack, the one with the airships, but I don't think anyone can get access to those. Resale on those is around 3,000 to 4,000 maybe in Australia. But yeah, that's why I think the 85 Varsity Red reverse, reverse bread colorway is going to do numbers just because it's a collector's dream and something that we've never seen before in Air Jordan 1s. And also, it's that cliche about the OG colorways and the Air Jordan 1s. They always go up no matter what. Like the breads as soon as they dropped they were they were going for maybe a hundred dollars above retail but now bro they're at like 1500 or like a thousand like uh, i'm trying to get a pair in my size in size 10 that's like 900 to a thousand bro like i can't get one of those so definitely uh royals of shadows they all just go up no matter what the colorway is they always seem to break out release but always know that og releases just always go up so that starts off number five the Air Jordan 1 Varsity Red or the Reverse Bread colorway. Now going on with number four, we've got the new OG colorway releases. So that includes the Court Purple 2.0s and the Pine Green 2.0s. Now since they're similar and in similar categories, I seem to I, I just wanted to group them together just because they were newly released and they were released at the time of this pandemic. Now there was a bit of a gap in the release dates. The Pine Greens released in February and then the Court Purples released in April, but they really seem to brick up release they barely sell for $300 due to them being an OG release and an OG color blocking expect the trend to continue they're always going to go up in price Air Jordan 1's is always going up in price do you remember those turbo greens that were released a couple years ago I think in 2018 or 2019 do you remember those do you remember the high uh, actually the hyper crimson's brick but the turbo greens everybody as soon as they saw them released they were just like wait what the hell what are the what's this colorway what's this writing on the midfoot panel now they're at, at around 500 dollars or like 600 so uh jordan ones the colorways that you don't expect to go up they usually end up going up so the court purples they they have no reason to brick they are an og color blocking og colors in an og silhouette uh, high cut the leather quality is decent they have no reason to sit at 300 bucks in maybe a couple months or so you can expect them to hit 500 if you invest in around 10 pairs or something you can see your profits going up to like 2000 just in a couple months of waiting so I, I personally would invest in the court purples I think those are pretty good hold um, they're even a pretty quick flip now you can buy, probably buy a pair for like 300 you can buy bulk right now so you could probably pay like 280 per pair if you buy like more than 10 pairs and then you could hold those and then you could could hold those do nothing with it and then sell them later for around like what 400 a piece um, that's a really good profit margin and you can really uh, mark up on those so that's why I think that those new colorways they have no reason to brick at the moment so you can definitely invest in those you can see a profit return on those so number four 
we got the newly released OG Air Jordan 1 colorways like the Pine Green 2.0s and the Court Purple 2.0s. Also, I want to add the 1.0s in both of the Court Purples and the Court uh, and the Pine Greens. Those are like around 700 dead stock. So they only released like two years ago. Expect the trend to continue. That's what I'm predicting. Going on with number three, we got the Syracuse and the Kentucky Dunks. Now, the what's special about these is that they're actually a low remodel of the Syracuse and the Kentucky Highs that released a couple years ago. I'm not too sure. But the, what's special about these is that they are leather dunk. They have really vibrant colors. They have really unique colors as well. By the way, 2020, 100% the year of the dunk. I could... I could argue that around 2016, 2017, 2018, those were the years of the Jordan 1s, but 2020, 100%, no doubt, everyone can agree with this. It's the year of the dunk. We got the Travis Scott dunks, we had um, all of the, we have all the Syracuse dunks, we got all the Kentuckys, all of the Muslims, Blue Furies, all of the dunk pros that have been releasing in the uh, recently. Off-white dunks, we ended 2019 with the off-white dunks. Those went crazy. Everybody wanted them. And what's special about those is that we, they could actually afford those as well. They, they didn't go for that much. But honestly, 2020 is, the, is crazy for dunks. So everybody's been rocking them, all the influencers have been rocking them, and they are actually pretty affordable as of right now. The so Syracuse and the Kentuckys, they they're hovering around three three fifty to maybe four hundred. So if you um, buy those, hold them, they might go to six hundred. You never know. Now, like all of the variables again uh, go towards a shoe being valuable in the future. So that's why I. <laughs> By the way, I really want a pair of Kentuckys. I really want a pair of Syracuse. The colorways are really unique and they're really wearable as well. It's a really OG silhouette. And also those, um, the high versions of the sneaker, they go for around 750, I think. So there's no reason for those to not go up as well. Everyone's panic selling their pairs because you know they usually just want coronavirus funds. And I guess that stimulus check isn't covering everything. So number two, we got the Travis Scott and SB Dunks. Now these released really recently into this year. Resale is really high in those. Now the reason why I think the Travis Scott SB Dunks are gonna do numbers is because one, it's a Travis Scott collab. Number two, it's a dunk. And number three, resale has been tanking recently because of the coronavirus so definitely buying a couple pairs of those um at eighteen hundred dollars or seventeen sixteen hundred dollars i think that that's going to be a really good investment if you do have that capital um not a lot of people probably want to invest uh, 1600 bucks into a shoe but if you can wait uh, i really think that they're going to go up because uh just because every other travis scott um collab they've been doing numbers like the Travis Scott ones, especially the Travis Scott fours, the Cactus Jacks, those are crazy. Maybe rumors that the friends and family releases just like the olives and the purple ones. I think that they're rumoring that those are going to release maybe as maybe a extremely exclusive release. Those might hype up the Travis Scott collection even more. Time and time again, as long as this collaboration between Travis Scott and Nike continues, expect the older collabs to rise up in value like the Travis Scott ones, they're gonna keep rising in value. And there's rumors that there are actually more colorways of the Travis Scott one to release. So that OG uh, release of the Dark Mocha, expect those to jump in value. But yeah, coming in at number two, I really expect the Travis Scott dunks to jump in value. Now coming in number one, I feel like any off-white collaboration, of course, like the 10 collection, I'm talking about like the 10 collection, um, not those waffle races or the zoom races, whatever they're called. But yeah, any off-white coll uh, collaboration, I feel like they're gonna do really well just because they jump in value. Virgil has announced that there are no more colorways of the 10 collection that are gonna be releasing. So definitely investing in the off-white Jordan 5s are gonna be good for the long term. I don't expect to see any jump in prices now, like the off-white 90s or the off-white Jordan 1 or like the those like a part of the 10 collaboration the og 10 collaboration i really think that those are going to do numbers so like they're going to be rising in value anyway regardless of, um regardless of the coronavirus it's just the time is the variable there as, as demand skyrockets for these uh, dead stock sneakers you can probably pick up a couple and hold them and then see a good return so any off-white collection sneakers i feel like they're going to do really well just because the hype on them was 100 real so yeah guys that concludes my top five sneakers to invest in during the coronavirus hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little about um, consumer demand and all that yeah hope you guys have a profitable uh, investment and i'll see you in another video peace <music>